can make sense on uh, a lot of uh, controversy on on silicones, um, having it make, make sense of them, um, it's really crazy because you, you get so into the minutia of these ingredients and oftentimes they just don't play any part in the performance part of what you end up with. So let me clarify silicones. Dimethicone is a heavier, thicker silicone that will coat your hair. Um, and it's not the best thing for your hair, but it's not awful for your hair if you're not wetting your hair. Um, it's not gonna do any more harm to your hair than you not wetting your hair is gonna do to your hair. And it just doesn't have that much performance. Cy cyclomethicones, cy did I say that right? Cyclomethicones are lighter weight silicones that are also, that, that add, that are a delivery system of moisture and or used in spray shines. Um, and there's varying degrees using a spray shine because you're going to hit the red carpet or you're going to take pictures or you're leaving the house and you want to add a little luster and shine to your hair. Um, there's nothing wrong with a silicone spray shine. Um, there's nothing wrong with a silicone um, product that is you're just using for shine or a d delivery system of moisture, which cy cy cyclo cyclomethicone, cyclomethicone? Um, are lighter weight silicones that are deliverers of moisture and help to attach moisture to hair. So those are much different than the heavier dimethicone silicones that are um, much thicker and have a tendency to coat the hair, preventing moisture from getting in. So that's the difference. So don't get overly um, protective of ingredients. Treat your hair right. Find conditioners that don't, that do what they're supposed to do and avoid shampoos that lather up if you don't have naturally flat oily hair, right? That's a lot of women. So I hope that makes sense of it all.